I just made $500 delivering this box right here, baby. Stay tuned and stick around. It's about to go down. Let's go. It's DK and I'm back like I never left because I'm cooking no content like a chef. Shooting videos like I'm Steph uh, Curry. So hey, up, subscribe because it's time for us to slide. If you're a part of the crew, you already know what to do. Throw them C's up. Throw them C's up in the comment section. We have a huge problem, guys. I have not got a beard. I have not got a low in probably like four days. I probably put it in for like 40 to 45 lows, and I have not got one. But we finally got one. We go out here and get the job done and get these funds. And shout out to everybody at Sun One. Now, we have 34 deadhead miles, 168 miles loaded, so 202 miles all together for 500. I'm about to pull up and show you. Uh, who run it? Let's go. And just like that, we are here at the pickup. This is actually my first time coming here, so I don't know where I'm supposed to go or anything. <coughs> it's kind of like they just be chilling in this zone. They got the music bumping. How you doing, boss? I have a load to pick up to go to John Deere tomorrow morning. Oh, for Moline? Yeah. Okay. So this one copy for me and two for you. Okay. Because maybe one for you and one for the people over here. Okay. Thank you very much. You have a great day, sir. We are here at Costco and we're gonna go to the food court and see what all the fuss is about. Cheese pizza, strawberry ice cream sundae, <laughs> fruit smoothie. Pizza, smoothie, the sundae. Oh, ooh, that joy looking it's like a little light skin on, uh, to me. Looking a little watery though. So, let's see what this stuff tastes like. It tastes like big strawberries. It doesn't taste like it's just fruit in here though. It tastes like it's something else. It's like a little syrupy taste. This joint is like an eighth of a pizza right here. This is a big slice. Cook it a little dark for me. Let's test it out. To be honest, I don't taste the cheese that much. I taste mostly dough. Uh, it's okay. You gotta get the nuts in this. They gotta add the peanuts. They gotta get the little bags like McDonald's used to have. Hey, the ice cream looking decent. I shouldn't have got this strawberry on top of strawberry. I'll tweak. I'm a goofball. Honestly, this is my first time ever having a strawberry on top of strawberry sundae. <laughs> hey, McDonald's, <laughs> they giving you a run for your money. Hey, this strawberry on top of strawberry ain't bad. If it had the peanut, it'll go cra even crazier. This joint is righteous, so I ain't gonna lie. We are here, baby. E -E. Hello, how you doing this morning? You see the cones going down the middle? Yes. Okay. When you pull in here, you need to stay right of those, right of those orange cones. That's why we have them out. Oh. Right now, you guys are in the wrong lane. Oh, sorry about that. Because it's traffic in and traffic out. Okay, I'm just coming coming to check, and I know exactly where I was supposed to go. Sorry what about that. What address are you going to? Um, five hundred one River Drive. You're gonna come in. You're gonna turn around. And you're going down to the next gate, which is gate 41. Gate 41. Thank you. Have a great morning. And just like that, we are here at the other side. It's time for us to slide. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, but <coughs> we're here now. Whoa, news. Got a couple push trucks, a couple old school. They just now getting here. I think this place is open till six in the morning. So everybody just start getting their groove right, right now. So a few moments later. How you doing, sir? Um, I have a question for you. So I have this to drop off. Do you have any idea where I'm supposed to go? Uh, somebody supposed, well, you're right in the shift change. Yeah, exactly. So that's what I said. So it's, 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 it's just hit six. There because the third shift guy just left. And the, I don't even know well, the first shift girl is here yet. So okay. I'll, uh, I'll look over there and tell them you're over here. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very I, much. I appreciate I, your help. I, I, I wish I could sign <laughs> for you and take it, but I can't. I definitely yeah. appreciate your help, sir. Sorry about that. No problem. Good morning. I have a gift for you. Oh, yay! I don't know what that is. I just said something like a, oh, a hydraulic hose. Oh, gosh. Really? Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess so. Oh, by the way, happy Valentine's Day. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. 
And then the second copy is yours. Perfect. And I'm good to go. Thank you. Right, have a great you one. Have a good you too. So let's go ahead and get into what you guys all want to know. Should you or should you not use a carrier company? And I, this is my honest, this is my honest to God truth. I think it depends on which carrier company you go with. Now, I actually have two carrier companies that I'm currently using. Well, one I kind of ain't really use. I am. I'm not kind of so kind of sorta. But I always they, it's like I, I just don't like it. Look, they got three thousand quadrillion bazillion dispatchers that reach out to you and reach out to you and text you this and call you this and text you and call you and text you and call you and text you and, text you. and I tell them the same thing every time. I'm only going to go within 150 miles radius from my house. That's it. That's all. They they reached out to me saying do you want to go from uh, Missouri and then go to Texas and go all the way over here and go over there. I keep on telling you guys the same thing every single day. Why don't y'all understand it? It got to the point where. I'm honestly thinking about take, taking that one dispatcher, I mean, that, that one carry company off of my insurance because it's just, it's just been a whole waste of time. I haven't got any loads with them, so I don't know. The first one I got, uh, that's the one I've been using for a while now. It's been going okay, but I do have an issue with them as well, and that is that I've been bidding on probably like 40, 40 loads between the last like four days, and that's the only one load I got. And I know I'm not going crazy on the prices. Honestly, I'm bidding a respectable amount. I'm not going too crazy. I'm not trying to get five dollars and three dollars and four dollars and stuff a mile for these for these loads. I've been putting in some decent amounts, and I kind of be feeling like sometimes that this is what I have noticed using the carrier camera. I have noticed this. I have noticed that. It seems like dispatchers have their favorite people they like to use. I know when this one guy is there, I usually get a load. It ain't no problem. It's, and when I hear his voice, I know it's gonna be some good news. I got some great news. We got this load for you. He, he always reached out to me, and when he reached out to me, we usually win the bid. Then we have the other ones that I really don't hear from them that much, or they always try to haggle you down on the price a little bit. And um, a lot of times what I have noticed, just so you guys know and you're aware, if you have a carrier company or you're thinking about getting a carrier company, a lot of times I've been noticing that Whenever they try to ask you to go lower on a price, you always, it always end up being a terrible low. For some odd reason, this has never failed me. Every time they reach out to me and say, yeah, you want it 204, but you do it for 175. And, they, and I get it, every time it has been absolutely terrible. I also want to recommend to you guys that if you're going to be doing this, that I don't like to go to the airport. If I'm going to the airport, I'm definitely going to charge more because sometimes I've actually heard of people having to wait. This one guy, man, he was a semi driver. He literally had to wait 12 hours before to get the load. And then the thing about this whole thing is, once you have approved your bid on a load, it's like you have to take it. That's part of their rules, how they do it. So, I mean, it's good and bad things that goes on with using a carrier company. You just have to get the right ones. And I also do want to tell you this. It takes, make sure you do a lot of research. Make sure you do a lot of research when you're looking for a carrier company because sometimes you go through all this stress and all this paperwork. I'm talking about it's a lot of paperwork and a lot of stress to fill out for these uh, these carrier packets and all this and all that. And then next thing you know, it doesn't end up working out for you like this second carrier company I have right now. I'm thinking about just canceling them and I have to pay 15 more dollars to add on to my insurance too. So it's just a lot to deal with when you're dealing with these carrier companies. So you guys want to make sure you keep that in mind while you're out there on the ground. Now, just so you know, I do have a video telling you guys about five different carrier companies. We're going to put it up at the top. We ain't going to never stop. Make sure you guys do your own research. Don't rely on me. Don't allow anybody else to do the research for you. You need to go out there and do your own research and do a thorough research job. Because guess what? If you do it wrong or you don't research enough, you're going to end up like I did. And that's, you had this carrier company and you tell them exactly what you want. I told them in the, in the beginning that I only want local loads. They decided to send me whatever they want to send me. I got 10, 12 dispatchers reaching out to me, calling me, texting me, calling me all day. And I, I, did, I pretty much want to block them. I ain't even going to lie. So make sure you guys do your research before you decide to go with a carrier company. And just go with best fits for you. Just because it doesn't work for me or work for someone else does not mean it's not going to work for you. You got to do what's best for you while you're out there on the ground all the time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you're not subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to throw them C's up. Throw them C's up in the comment section if you're a part of the crew. You already know what to do. I'll see you guys on the next one. We're going, we're going, we're full. You already know in the DDK. And I'm on my way.